What is going on you guys is a beautiful Wednesday morning. We actually have almost 30 items going out today that we've sold on every selling platform, eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, and Facebook Marketplace. You guys always have a lot of questions on how we pack stuff and how we ship stuff. So we're just going to show you the whole process today. Exactly. We're going to go through each item one by one, pull it out of our inventory system, show you guys how much we paid for it, how much we sold it for, and get it packed up one by one so you guys can really get a good understanding of the whole process. So definitely stick around. We tried our best to cover all of our bases in today's video, but of course there's going to be some some things that slipped through the cracks that we did not cover. So if you guys watch the whole video and you still have questions about packing and shipping items, drop a comment on this video and ask your question there. And I will personally go through and answer every single question that I see. I want this video and comment thread to be a great source of information for you guys. So I feel like that's the best way to tackle any issues that we may have missed in the actual video. First time going out is over here in the H bin and it is this heart care bear. We picked this bad boy up at the flea market. What? Like last week? A week and a half ago, Haley's not even paying attention. I'm we, not paying attention to you. <laughs> we paid a dollar for this, right? We got it from Zoe's mom, yes, Mama, Mama so. Zoe, mm -hmm. and uh, this sold for eighteen dollars and ninety nine cents plus shipping. Let's get it packed up. So this Care Bear is a little weird because if we put it on the scale just by itself, it's already 14.7 ounces. So pretty much any packaging we put this in is going to put it over that 16 ounce mark and set it into priority territory. So I'll probably just go ahead and put it in this priority mail shoe box. If I had a large poly bag that it would fit in, I'd probably put it in a poly bag as well just to protect it in case the box gets wet or something. But I don't think there's going to be any weather issues where this is headed. So literally that's all you do. We just put it in there like that. We get a little um, thank you card, which we have printed up over here. In case you're wondering, we hired a graphic designer from Fiverr to design the card itself, and then we use Vistaprint to actually print the cards and have them shipped to our house. I believe we ended up paying a little under $200 for a thousand of these, so they were about 18 or 19 cents a piece. We'll sign it uh, before we put it in there, and then put it in there and uh, get it packed up. And as you can see, now that it's in the box and packed up, it weighs one pound, five ounces. So anytime you're shipping priority, you always round up to the nearest pound. So this is going to be shipped at a priority two pound rate, which Haley is calculating over there, which was $9.32. Yes. Okay. So this will be $9.32 going to Connecticut. Not too bad. And the buyer paid for shipping on this as well. Hey, Moe's, we're going to start our pile over here by the door. And then we'll just add to it and watch it grow over the course of the day. You're in charge of the pile when we're not here, though. This next item is over here in the V bin, and it is uh, going to be fun to ship. <laughs> That's for sure. This is a uh, vintage uh, Washington Redskins Slim Jim mug. We paid $2 for this at the flea market, and it sold for $15.00 plus shipping. I would like to say that when I talk about shipping stuff, this is just like what we do. There's not like a, a right and wrong way to ship stuff as long as it's secure. But anytime that we sell like cups like this, I usually like to take a section of pool noodle. We get these like at the end of summer clearance for like 25, 50 cents a piece. And if you cut down the middle of it like this and make it into like a sandwich, you can take it and wrap it over the handle like this, just to give it a little bit of extra padding. And then I'll wrap the whole thing in bubble wrap and then put it in a box. Look at that. These boxes down here should be pretty good for it. We get these from eBay, obviously. Any boxes that say eBay are going to come from eBay. Any boxes that say priority, like these up here, are going to come from USPS.com. We get most of our boxes either from eBay, Amazon, USPS.com, or um, a local shipping supply company. I would just maybe Google shipping supply store near you because if you can find a, 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 lo a local location for your shipping supplies that will really reduce a lot of the headaches that come along with selling weird shaped items because i mean it's happened to us two or three times where we will sell some item and need a box for it and instead of like panicking we just go online order a box and drive over there and pick it up but again this is an eight by six by four box that we got from ebay and this mug should fit in here pretty nicely pretty much a perfect fit we'll put a little bit of extra packing paper in there Oh, we'll throw this in here too. We get all these with like Amazon boxes. Always save these. Just throw them in boxes. Put the packing paper in there. We got another thank you card. And we are off to the races. Ooh, four pounds. Again, anytime it's priority, anything over 16 ounces will be priority. Um, and it's going to round up to the nearest pound. So this will be shipped at a four pound rate, eight by six by four. four no. What do you say about six by four? No, these are 10 by eight by six. I was telling you guys the wrong thing. 10 by eight by six, four pound rate. So let's see what it's gonna cost us here. So four pounds, 10 by eight by six is only gonna be eight dollars and 57 cents priority. It's just going to Virginia. Uh, we're in South Carolina. So that's what, two states away, three states away? 
Uh, so it's pretty cheap to send a four pound package. Well, has got another package for you. No need to get up. You're fine. You're on patrol as long as you're in here. You're good to go. All right, next up we have a golf club. This is where we keep all of our bigger like woods and drivers and everything. Um, let's see, I think, yeah, I think it's this one. Um, this is a tailor-made burner three wood um, and it sold for $80 plus shipping. Yeah, that was part of our recent, uh, the golf club pickup at the flea market recently. We paid 360 bucks. Uh, and that was our, I think the first club that sold out of that lot. So already made 80 bucks back. If this club did not have a head cover, we would probably put a little bit of bubble wrap around the head, but since it has a head cover, we'll just go ahead and put it in the box as is. Um, usually golf clubs are pretty resilient. So I think just shipping it like this, maybe put a little bit of packing paper in there to keep it from jangling around too much, but this should be good to get. Golf clubs almost always weigh between one and two pounds. This one is one pound, 14 ounces. So again, it'll be rounded up to two pounds. Box is 48 by five by five. It's going to South Carolina, Hilton Head Island. Uh, and it's only going to cost $7.80 to ship priority mail. All right, Mo's got a long one for you over here. You're doing a pretty good job so far. Next time's over here in the O bin, and it is a baseball glove. It just lifts as this pretty, pretty recently. I think we paid $10 for this at the flea market up in Greenville, uh, and this sold for $25 free shipping. So not a lot of profit there, but this did sell to a viewer of the YouTube channel named Zach from Hartsville, South Carolina. He said, just started watching your YouTube channel about a month ago, and I think I've come close to watching every video. Keep up the good work and find those deals. Zach, thank you so much for your support. Hope you enjoy the baseball glove. Baseball gloves are pretty easy to ship. We usually put them in these padded flat rate envelopes that we get from the United States Postal Service. These are free uh, to get. You can get them for free sent to your house, but it costs I think eight dollars and fifty cents to send these anywhere in the country and they're padded they're like kind of plastic on the outside so they protect from rain a little bit if the package gets wet uh, and it's pretty much the cheapest way to send these baseball gloves i will add that this packaging is a little misleading it says flat rate envelope one rate any weight and that's not exactly true the weight limit on these i believe is 70 pounds so anything can fit in here up to 70 pounds can ship in this. When you're printing your label on eBay, make sure you choose USPS padded flat rate envelope. There's another one just for a regular flat rate envelope. And if you print this label and put it on a padded flat rate envelope, it'll be sent back to you. Uh, this one's a little bit cheaper at $8.20. And the padded flat rate is $8.49. I think I get a top rated seller discount. So your price may be a little bit higher than this if you're not a top rated eBay seller. Uh, but either way, make sure you're printing the right label. Pile's growing. You're doing a great job. Next time's over here in the W file, and it's some uh, it's these things. We picked these up at the Goodwill bins the other day, actually. Uh, two of these multi-pocket tools. These were really cool, like, what, like five years ago when, when they first came out? Uh, but now you can kind of find them all the time. They make great stocking stuffers for Christmas. Uh, and the lot of two sold for $9.99 free shipping. We got them at the bin, so we probably have about 50 cents into the, the two of these together. So still making a decent amount of profit. You can turn 50 cents into what, like five or six bucks or so? That's, that's pretty good. These things are not fragile at all. They're literally metal. So we're just gonna put these in one of these uh, padded envelopes. These are not priority mail padded envelopes. These are just eBay uh, nine by seven padded envelopes. You can get these from eBay. Uh, I don't remember how much, how much they cost. There's an eBay store called eBay Shipping Supplies. And you can go there and they have these, they have boxes, they have you know envelopes, anything you could ever, eBay tape, they have whatever you need for your business you can get from that eBay uh, eBay shipping supply store. But can't do it with one hand, but you put these in there, throw a thank you card in there and you'll be good to go. Once these are in the envelope, they're only four ounces, so that can definitely ship first class. And it's only gonna be $3.33 to send it all the way to Tennessee. I love first class shipping. I want to jump in here for one second and just thank you guys so much for all your support you've given us on the YouTube channel. Obviously, we've had a nice period of growth recently, but if you've followed the channel for more than about a year and a half or so, going back to 2020 when quarantine first started, we were stuck inside the house and I was trying to continue to make YouTube content. So I had to resort to something that I could do in the house that I thought was entertaining. So we started doing some ping pong trick shots. It was fun, like I had, I had a good time, but I cannot tell you how many people reach out to us on at least a weekly basis asking us to bring back the trick shots. So in today's video, I'm bringing back the trick shots as I tell you guys about the sponsor of today's video, Skillshare. I got a calendar full of ping pong balls and a glass of water. The goal is going to be to stand up and bounce the ping pong balls off of two pots, land it in the cup of water before the Skillshare ad is over. 
Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes so you can explore new skills, develop existing interests, and get lost in creativity. A recent class that I've taken on Skillshare is called Finding Fulfillment, using pivots to power your creative career. This class kind of helps you navigate the natural path that someone would go down when they're trying to figure out what to do in life. This YouTube channel that you're watching right now started as a hobby, something that I just wanted to do for fun, and we've naturally gone down this path and pivoted from time to time to turn it into something that has become a full-time job for both me and my wife. So I've thoroughly enjoyed this class on that whole process. The first 1,000 people to click the link in the description down below will get a one month of free trial of Skillshare. I hope you enjoyed the fun spin I tried to put on this ad. So huge shout out Skillshare again for sponsoring today's video. Next item's over here in the O bin and it is a Nike golf glove. What is that here? In here somewhere. There it is, in the very back. I believe I actually got this at TJ Maxx a couple months ago. It was like a yellow tag clearance item. I think it was I don't know, like $2.50 or, or something like that. And it sold for $11 free shipping. So again, not a ton of money, but you know, turning two fifty dollars into five, uh, doubling your money, I'll, I'll take it. This glove isn't fragile at all. So it really just needs protection from the elements. So I'm just going to put it in one of these poly bags. I don't know what size, I think these are nine by 13, maybe. We get these from Amazon. They're like, I don't know, 20 bucks for a thousand of them or something. Just search like mailing poly bags on Amazon and there'll be a bunch of colors and a bunch of different sizes to choose from. You just peel off the little thing here and fold it down. And then I would also want to fold it over again, just to make it a little bit more compact to ship. Put a little bit of tape over this side just to keep it all together. And then we'll slap the label right on there. That glove is only two ounces. And again, it's going to someone in South Carolina. I don't know why so many people in South Carolina are buying stuff from our store, but I definitely appreciate it. I don't know if they were a viewer, but maybe it's just a coincidence, but this only was $3.33 three cents I think to ship out add into the pile anytime I like throw packages like that I always get people who are like I can't believe you're throwing customers packages like that guys if you aren't confident enough with your packing to throw your package five feet across your living room it is not secure enough to ship USPS and UPS and FedEx are not going to baby your packages especially this time of year so make sure you can confidently toss them across the room without worrying about damage next up is in the plush bin this was uh, for that yard sale that we went to where we got a bunch of stuff for about 40 bucks. Um, but this was a Pablo the Chihuahua <laughs> and he sold for $19 plus shipping. So I'm putting him in a bag first in case the box gets wet and yeah. he doesn't get wet. The bigger, like these smaller plush definitely fit in these bags. That first plush, the Care Bear did not fit in the bag, which is why I didn't put it in there. If you have smaller plush, definitely put them in these bags. And we get these from Amazon. We always get, for some reason, people like have no idea where we get these. It's just Amazon stuff. And they're linked in the video, right? Yeah, yeah, the it's all, er, everything we're showing you guys in this video is gonna be linked in the description of this video if you guys wanna check it out. We usually have eight by eight by four boxes, but I think we're currently out. So we're gonna use this that we got from a viewer the other day. So. Yeah, never, never, never be afraid to reuse shipping supplies. As long as it's, you know, able to be taped up and shipped securely, you can reuse pretty much. I will say the only thing you, the only type of box you can't use to ship stuff in, in the post from the post office is liquor boxes. Like if there's any sort of alcohol advertising on the, on the outside, they will not accept those. Um, but this box is good to go. Just cover up any old addresses or barcodes and you'll be set. So even though this one was first class, it was going all the way to California, our first sale of the day. It's not going to South Carolina. Uh, so this was, what did you say, $6? $6.28. $6 and... Awesome. Doing great, Lowe's. Doing great. Next item is over here in the M bin, and it is a t-shirt that I picked up at the Goodwill bins um, a while ago, maybe like two two months ago, two or three months ago. It's uh, Accomplice, A-K-O-M-P-L-I-C-E. Never heard of this brand before. I just thought it was cool because it was like tie-dye and stuff. Uh, since we got it at the bins, probably paid about 50 cents for it, and it sold for 20 bucks. Uh, free shipping, it's gonna go first class definitely and probably cost about $3.50. Shirts and clothing of pretty much any size, they usually fit in these purple poly bags I showed you guys earlier. Again, I think these are not about 13. I'm not 100% sure, but I'll have them linked in the description this video. We leave these clothes in the clear poly bags, again, that we get from Amazon, which are probably the same size, nine by 13, and then just put them into the purple bags with a thank you card and ship first class. This is gonna be, oh, I gotta put a thank you card in there. This shirt weighs 7.4 ounces, so just like priority mail with rounding up to the nearest pound when it's first class, you round up to the nearest ounce. So 7.4 will be shipped at an eight ounce rate, and it is going to Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, and it's gonna cost $3.81 to ship out. Next up, we have 
some Nike leggings in the Drew bin, Drew Profit Mon Monsters. And these leggings here sold to a viewer. She says, thank you, we watch all the time, and thank you two are great. Miss Denise Tolman from Fort Worth, Texas. And she bought these leggings for $18 plus shipping. Much like that shirt we just sold, this pair of leggings is gonna get shipped the exact same way in one of the purple poly bags, first class. And when we have like similar shipped items like this, we don't wanna like take up your valuable time in the video showing you the same thing. So like we have like four golf clubs, four or five golf clubs. So we'll still show you the clubs and show you what we sell them for, but we're not gonna show you how we box them up in the big rectangle box like we did earlier, cause that's not a good use of your time. So uh, all the clothing and, and similar items are just gonna get fast forwarded a little bit. These Nike leggings weigh 10 ounces and they're gonna cost $4.50 to ship out. Did you drop it? <laughs> the pile's already falling over. We're not even yeah. close to being done. <laughs> Next item's up here in the B bin. I have to pull down the whole bin to get to it. It is a Ralph Lauren puffer vest. I actually found this at the Goodwill bins where you get stuff by the weights. So we probably paid, I don't know, two bucks, two or three bucks for it, if, if that, because we probably got it on a half off day. And this actually sold for pretty good money, 35 bucks plus shipping. Now something like this is kind of big and puffy because it's a literal puffer vest. If you can possibly squeeze it down into a small enough package to fit it into one of these padded flat rate envelopes, that'll probably be the cheapest way to ship it because it's definitely over a pound so it can't go first class. So we're gonna try to roll it up and shove it in here so we can get shipped for $8.50. Haley just brought up a very good point. This is another package going to a buyer in South Carolina. So the padded flat rate envelopes are usually a pretty good price, but occasionally if you sell something to somebody that lives really close to you in terms of like one or two states away sometimes regular priority mail is cheaper than the padded flat rate option so this one padded flat rate is eight dollars and 49 cents and regular priority is what seven dollars and 80 cents yeah so that's a savings of 70 cents just shipping at regular priority and now we don't even have to like fold it up in, in that we can just ship it in one of these um priority uh, uh, shoe boxes. These are also free from USPS.com. And you guys don't have to do this, but if you ship something in one of these priority boxes and there's a lot of space left at the top, you can just take a box cutter and cut down the sides a little bit until you get to like where your item is. And then you can just kind of fold in the box a little bit. Um, instead of adding packing paper to it, um, you have to cut the flaps a little bit to fit. But instead of adding packing paper, it just makes the box smaller and actually saves on a little bit of the weight. Next up, we have a hat in the R bin. This is a cowboy hat, uh, Sierra Club, I'm mm -hmm. pretty sure. Made in USA, baby. Yeah, made in USA. This is actually going to a viewer of the YouTube channel. Yeah, sold for $24.99 plus shipping, and it went to a viewer um, in, in South Carolina, nonetheless. They're from actually Lexington, where we live. Uh, this hat's from a husband, Virgil Patrick, uh, huge fan of the show. We're starting our own farm in 2022, and we'll create our own YouTube channel when that happens. If you could say hello to Virgil and wish us luck with Dancing Cedars Farm in Lexington, South Carolina. So wish you guys luck. Uh, again, thanks for the support. The hat sold, again, for $24.99 plus shipping. I think we got that at Goodwill a week and a half, two weeks ago for $2.99. Shout out Virgil. Shout out Virgil. So selling cowboy hats can be kind of weird because it takes a particular box to ship them in. Honestly, if you have some listed that haven't sold yet, I would probably go ahead and start looking for boxes. A lot of the Amazon boxes we get would be good. This box was almost perfect, but it wasn't quite deep enough for the hat to fit in here without getting squished. So unfortunately, we're gonna have to resort to sitting it in one of these 12 by 12 by 12 boxes. It kind of fits in there sideways. You, you just definitely don't want to squish it. Like people are really particular about the form on these cowboy hats. Um, so this is going to be 12 by 12 by 12, but it's only going to weigh 1 pound, 10.7 ounces. So it'll be shipped at a 2 pound rate, but again, only going to Lexington, South Carolina. So it should only cost 8 or 9 bucks or so. Most working hard or hardly working. <laughs> Next up are some books that I actually listed last night, which was a really fast turnaround. It was a lot of four Planescape novels. Um, since we had the entire trilogy, I just decided to just throw them up and see what we get for them. And they sold in less than a day for $20 plus shipping. So books can be shipped what's called media mail, which is basically just a discounted shipping rate for like books and CDs and, and DVDs, things like that that are media based, not video games, but anything else media based uh, can be shipped what's called media mail. But generally, like if we're selling one book, the first class price for that one book versus the media mail price is usually the same. And media mail can sometimes take like up to a week longer to arrive than first class. So if we sell a single book or a single DVD or something, we'll usually just send those first class. But since this is a lot of four books, it'll probably be over one pound uh, and it's going to California. So the one pound priority rate going to California is probably like 
nine or ten dollars maybe even eleven or twelve whereas the media mail price for one pound going to california is only like three dollars and thirteen cents or something really cheap so the savings there will be worth the slight delay in arrival time i will add that if the buyer pays for priority mail shipping and then you choose to send it media mail because it qualifies and you want to save some money i i, I would maybe be careful about that because the buyer is going to expect his package in two or three days but then if you send it media mail instead of priority he might not get it for seven or ten days so it's okay to ship things different than what people specify in, in when they buy it as long as the estimated delivery date is pretty similar and when you switch from priority to media mail it's there's kind of a gray area there so just be careful with that so this package costs three dollars and 82 cents to send all the way to california a california cost hey most next item is over here in the w file and it is uh this microsoft surface uh adapter thingy picked this up at uh goodwill uh maybe two months ago i think it was like two dollars and 99 cents and what did this sell for it sold for 40 dollars plus shipping wow that's pretty good and i just listed it yesterday so it sold pretty quickly as well if this had the it's missing the power cable it's, this is just the adapter if it had the power cable these things were selling for like 80 to 100 bucks uh, so definitely be on the lookout for these if you can find them. I believe this thing is over a pound just as is. Yeah, it's one pound, five ounces. So we're probably just going to bubble wrap this up and then send it in a padded flat rate envelope. So once again, with this item, it turns out that regular priority shipping is actually cheaper than the padded flat rate envelope. So I just put it in one of these, um, these eBay envelopes, which are the exact same dimensions as the padded flat rates, but we get these from eBay. Uh, and they're used to ship either first class or priority. So uh, this package is going to be one pound, 6.6 .6 ounces, rounded up to two pounds priority. And it should cost $8.24 to ship, which is like, uh, what, 36, 36, 35 cents cheaper than the padded flat rate envelope. Okay, next up is two orders to the same buyer. We have one in the G bin, which is an Adidas skateboarding sweatshirt. This one actually had some bleach stains on it. And the second thing that they bought is in the M bin. If I can reach it, or some Victoria's Secret leggings, and they sold for twenty two ninety nine free shipping. And Josh, this is actually going to another person in South Carolina. Are you serious? Monk's Corner, South Carolina. She says I'm a subscriber and love the videos. I've been reselling for a while on Poshmark, but I have recently started on eBay. I also live in South Carolina on the coast and want to come thrift in Columbia. It seems great. You'll always find the best stuff. Thanks so much for all I've learned from y'all. Really appreciate it. And we appreciate your support for us. Thank you so much. That's, that's literally like seven or eight orders of the 22 have been in from South Carolina. And we're not even done yet. Yeah. And that like never happens. I'm going to weigh these two items together first. So yes, they're definitely over a pound. I like how you flip that box. <laughs> flip those in there. Thank you card. The thank you card in there. Also, I'll add that like thank you cards aren't super necessary, but it's a good idea. Like even if it's just like a little post-it that just says, you know, thanks for your business. Uh, I think it goes a long way for, for eBay buyers. So what does that weigh now that it's in the box? Oh no. <laughs> no too bad. It's okay. You could also put it in the, I don't know if I have any, but um, post office has like these priority Tyvek, uh, these. I do have some. These are um, these are uh, priority mail mailing envelopes, so they're not flat rate. So anything you put in here just gets shipped at a regular priority rate. So if we put those in this package, they would probably be under two pounds, um, and it would ship at a two pound rate instead of a three pound rate. But because the package is going to South Carolina, I don't think there's much of a price difference anyway. We had one pair of shoes go out today. I think it's these. Yep, these Brooks running shoes. They're Brooks Adrenaline GTS 19, and they sold for $22 plus shipping. Surprisingly, this is our first pair of shoes going out today. If you guys have watched our channel at all, you know that usually uh, we sell a good amount of shoes. But today, we only have one pair going out, on eBay at least. Um, and we're just going to wrap it up in some of this brown packing paper and put it in one of these priority uh, mail shoe boxes. And we'll get shipped uh, regular priority mail, probably a two pound rate for those Brooks. These are going to Bryan, Texas and two pound priority rate will be $9.32. So next up, we actually have four more golf clubs. We got this uh, Ashton driver, which sold for $14.99 plus shipping. We got this Odyssey white hot uh, Terran putter, which is part of our recent golf club buyout. That one sold for $90 plus shipping. We got this Callaway Big Berth, the 50 degree wedge, which we've had for a while, maybe like a month or so. That one sold for 25 bucks plus shipping. And we have this Medicus Golf Training Aid uh, that we picked up at the flea market for, 
I think I probably paid like six bucks, five or six bucks for that or something. It was a part of a bundle deal that day, and that one sold for $32 plus shipping. And like I said earlier, we've already showed you how to ship golf clubs, so I'm not going to show you the big ones. Um, the putter is too wide to fit in these priority mailing tubes, and the two drivers are too long. So the only thing we're going to not put in the long box is going to be the pitching wedge. Um, for this, I would just wrap it up in a little bit of bubble wrap over the head, and then you can slide it right into these tubes. They're called priority mail medium mailing tube but i don't know why they're not called medium triangle boxes because they're <laughs> triangle shaped usps is not great at naming their shipping supplies as you can see this club is slightly too long for the box but that's fine we'll just push it in there and just cover it up with tape and it should be good to go this is going to be i believe 38 by 5 by 5 are the measurements for this box and it should be two pounds we'll go ahead and Check out this one here. This golf club is going to Kingsland, Georgia, two pound rate, five by five by 38, which is the dimensions of the mailing tube. And it's only gonna cost $7.97. I know I'm probably beating a dead horse for a lot of you guys watching this, but we get asked questions about this stuff all the time. Any box that says United States Postal Service on it, priority mail, is going to come from USPS.com. You can get these at your post office sometimes if they have them in stock, but the easiest way to get these priority boxes that you see here is just to go on the priority, the, the USPS website, literally USPS.com, make a free account, and then you can go to free shipping supplies and order whatever you want. You can order unlimited supplies pretty much, and they'll ship them right to your house totally for free. Next item is right here in the H bin, and it is this hat. It's like a little fedora straw hat that we picked up at Goodwill the other day. We paid $2.99 for that. It just kind of caught my eye. It looked to be like a pretty high quality hat. The brand is Gurin Bros. It's a size medium bold hat maker since 1895. So $2.99 for that. And it sold for $29.99 plus shipping. Uh, it didn't take very long to sell either. I think this thing sold like within three days of being listed. So definitely be on the lookout for Gurin Brothers hats. This hat is a pretty weird shape, I guess. So ideally, you'd probably want a box that was like nine by nine by six or something but we don't have that specific of a box size so we're just going to use this old amazon box that we had i don't know the exact measurements but this hat fits in here pretty well we can cut it down a little bit just make sure there's not a bunch of room for the hat to move around but this is only going to weigh probably just over a pound after the box is accounted for Oh, it's only 14.2 ounces. We can actually ship this bad boy first class. Next up is a pair of True Religion jeans in the Drew bin again. Let's see. Here they are. Unfortunately, these were kind of in a worse condition than I thought they were. They had some staining on the front, and actually the back button is missing. So, But they still sold for $22. So jeans are mostly, mostly always more than a pound. So we're going to check and make sure that priority mail is... Um, more expensive than the flat rate and it's going to be 932 so we're going to definitely try to put these in a flat rate envelope perfect fit next time is a pair of shoes i haven't even put these into the shoe wall yet these are a pair of women's uh clark's clogs they're in really good shape clark's is not a great brand and in fact if you try to list these on ebay it'll probably be sitting for a while i purposely listed, listed these on mercari poshmark and facebook marketplace as well uh, and they sold on Mercari for, I think, $21 plus shipping, which, in my opinion, is more than we could have gotten on eBay. Yeah, they sold for $21 plus shipping. So after the selling fee and processing fee, we we're going to make $17.99 uh, on this pair of shoes. And we got these at the Goodwill bins. I picked these up maybe a week and a half ago or so. Uh, you guys should have seen that if you've been watching our channel recently. So these are probably $2 or so. So turning 2 bucks into... $17.99, I'll, I'll take it. Next up is another pair of shoes. It's actually two pair of shoes. Just listed these recently. I got these in Las Vegas. This is a pair of uh, men's ultra running shoes. Um, both of them are in, in good condition. The the clear ones, or the clear one, the tan ones have a little bit of like staining or something on the heel. So I lotted them together. They're both the exact same size. So I just did one listing with both shoes. Uh, and they sold over on Mercari. The two pairs of shoes together sold for $60 plus shipping. So after the selling fee and the processing fee, we're walking away with $51.96 here. Each pair of shoes was kind of expensive. I think we paid $14.99 for each one. So we were into the shoes for 30 bucks. So turning 30 into 51, that gives us a profit of $21.96, uh, which is, I mean, it's pretty good. What is that, like a 66% return on investment? So 
pretty good. Obviously, I'd like to make more than that, but certainly not complaining. We have one more order that we sold on Mercari. It is this Winnie the Pooh Christmas plush thing. He's really tall. I kind of had to fold him, <laughs> fold him down a little bit, tell him to little, take a little nap uh, while we ship him in this box. This is, um, we bought these boxes specifically for VCRs, and they are 20 by 12 by 8. Uh, again, we got these from our local shipping supply company, and luckily, the Winnie the Pooh fits in there really nice. Again, this sold on Mercari for $37 plus shipping. So after the selling fee and the processing fee, we're going to make $31.93. Um, and then we got this uh, Winnie the Pooh at the flea market um, last week. I think we paid $8 for him, so a profit of... I don't know, 22, something, I don't know, you, you can do the math. Thank you guys so much for sticking with us. We're almost done. We got two more Poshmark orders to pull. We got a pair of Eddie Bauer pants that are in this bin somewhere. I think these are, yeah, these are Eddie Bauer, Eddie, bleh, Eddie Bauer pants. I think we paid, I don't know, like four or five bucks for these in Vegas a couple weeks ago. And these sold on Poshmark for $40 plus the buyers paying shipping. And after Poshmark fees of 20%, we're going to make $32. So turning five into 32, that's pretty good. Next item that we have on Poshmark is a Patagonia vest. It should be in the Joey Bada bin right here. Uh, right here. It's the fluffy new attack one that we got at the flea market a couple weeks ago. Uh, we paid out for this. I think we paid $40 because we were like, we bought a couple things from the guy. We were trying to bundle some stuff together. So I think we ended up paying about 40 bucks for this, but we still made a little bit of money on Poshmark. This sold on Poshmark for $63 plus shipping. So after Poshmark fees, we're left with $50 and 40 cents. And again, we paid $40 for it. So we only made $10 and 40 cents in profit, but uh, you know, it's, uh, uh, who cares? <laughs> Just for the sake of time, here's our last item of the day, already packed up and ready to go. It is actually a golf bag that we sold on Facebook Marketplace. We paid $2.50 for it and it sold for $60 free shipping. Uh, we were able to send a UPS ground in this box, which is 48 by 12 by 12. We get these boxes from our local shipping supply carrier. I think they're like $2.50 or $2.75 each or something like that. We got 50 of them like six months ago, and I'm sure that will last us for uh, the next couple years. We don't sell that many golf bags. Uh, shipping this was $26. It's going to Pennsylvania. So after the 5% Facebook Marketplace fees and the shipping costs, I think we're going to walk away with like $37 or something in profit. We only paid $2.50 for the bag, so really nice flip. I am sure that today's video has been extremely long, so if you guys are still watching at this point, we definitely appreciate you being here. If you learned anything, if you took away even just one little nugget of knowledge from today's shipping video, definitely go ahead and hit that like button for us down below. It's totally free. It really helps us out a ton and helps YouTube know that, hey, this video was enjoyable. I learned something. I hit the like button. Maybe other people will enjoy it as well. So very small price to pay for some free education slash entertainment on on YouTube. But thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely appreciate your time. Love you so much. And we'll catch you guys on the next one.